Jessica Dahlcourt from CNET here with a couple of quick tips to help you customize your brand new Samsung Galaxy S5 just the way you like it. Now you may recognize a couple of these techniques from previous Samsung phones, but a few are brand new to the S5. Of course, there are the usual moves like reassigning wallpaper with a preloaded sample, a download, or a photo from your gallery. I'm also going to guess that you know how to change the lock screen wallpaper in the settings and add and delete widgets. Did you know, however, that you can change the phone's font? To do this, open Settings, then Display. Then tap Font, and finally Font Style, to scroll through a short list of options. If you want even more, pressing Download brings you to a collection of options you can buy, most of them for about a dollar, though some fonts can cost as much as four dollars. The small font size is perfect for my eyes, but if you'd like it larger, you can change that in the settings too. You know that row of icons at the bottom of the screen that remain static when you swipe through home pages? Well, in many countries, you can customize this area too. Press and hold an icon to drag it in and around this icon row. You can even create a folder around it. Speaking of folders, they've been reshaped on the Samsung Galaxy S5, going from a circle to an icon of a square. You make them pretty much the same way you always did, but this time you can assign them one of five different colors, blue, gray, maroon, brown, or green. Here's another quick little trick for you, changing the animation you see when you swipe between the home screens. Find a blank space on a home screen and press and hold until you see controls appear. Tap Home Screen Settings and then Transition Effect. It's set to Card Stack as the default, but you can also choose 3D Rotation, which makes it seem like you're turning a box around an axis, or you can choose no transition at all. This Settings menu is also the place to turn off the My Magazine feature that acts like a news feed to the left of your home screens. Back in the display settings is control over another favorite of mine, the Daydream screensaver. It's been around since Android 4.2, but not as many people take advantage of it as they should. Here you can choose from a soothingly colorful animation to various options that turn your sleeping phone into a photo frame or a flipboard newsstand. What's particularly nice about the photo frame and photo table options are that you can rotate images from the editing tool called Studio, as well as from a folder of favorites or screenshots. And here's one final tip, having your phone greet you by name. In lock screen settings, tap owner information and then enter your name or a message like, smile Jessica. Well that's it for now folks. For even more tips and tricks on how to root your phone or download third party apps to liven up your home screen, go to howto.cnet.com. For CNET, I'm Jessica Dalton.